guys, welcome back to Angela's channel. So, as I said to you in this episode, I'm going to... Ayan, nahimay ko na guys. Yung alabati. I don't know, my camera is like that. There you go. Kano po kasi? See, the alabati is, or mulabar, is already cut from the stock. And I still have a lot of them left. Of course, we can't eat the Indian go. There you go. Still a lot. This is gonna put in the fridge and we serve it for a few days to eat. To cook it later. But this is the one that I'm gonna use today. In here, I'm gonna cook as well. It's probably half a kilo of mushrooms. I wash it slightly. Chop it in this size amount. And um, I just leave it there. And in here, in the pot, as you can see, I'll just bring it closer to um, string beans, neck beans, or sitao uh, that I already put. I chop half of this red onions, chop it thinly, and two cloves of garlic, Australian garlic. And I got one zucchini here, chopped thinly as well. And in here in the can, instead of mongo, kay walang mongo sa shop, I use the brown lentils there you go it's not salty guys which is the yes. top guys coconut cream that's it and i got this black pepper here i grind three grinds and some few bits tanjahin nyo lang guys just um you can style is a vegetarian for this mushroom one it's nice um yeah it is cool Saving some proteins, you know, like really having to eat mushrooms or you can eat a fish. And also, I put some pinch, few pinch or a pinch on my hand. There's um, vegetable stock. If you don't have vegetable stock, you can use anything like So, I'm just gonna leave this here for now. And I'm gonna sit aside the sun. Okay, guys, after five minutes later, this is the mushroom looking now. It's cooking, and I decided to put this in this pan because the other frying pan was too small. So the mushroom won't overcook. Because, like, this is only less than um, 10 minutes. The mushroom is cooked already and ready to eat if you really that hungry. So I need some few of these Bombay or onion here to cook more of this gulai left. Turn this on now. So now the zucchini it's turned. Bring this camera really close up to you. Put this part on really high. So I'm gonna put this zucchini here guys as you can see. It's a chopped in this zucchini. I'm gonna put that one this time. I'm not gonna put any oil because there's some few bits of oil. You can if you like. So now I won't put that one. Because this pan is a non-stick pan. So it won't stick or it won't burn them. So just leave it here. And after five minutes I'll come back and check. And um, if you got mongo and you soak the mongo from overnight, that's what always we do. Or you already boil the mongo, mong beans, and then um, I'll just bring the camera up, down, and then um, you're gonna put that here. But this style, I don't have mong beans or mongo, so I put this brown lentils here, guys. After this one is big soft. minutes later. Here is our zucchini. I don't know if you can see this. There you go. Zucchini is nice and soft. As you notice. Yeah. So that's what happened. And five minutes later. So I guess it's set. I'm gonna off this panel, guys, because it's like noise up to you. I am going to put this in uh, mogu now or substitute for mogu, which is the brown lentils. There you go. I put them all. They are thick and soft but soft but they are not salty alright I removed the water by the way guys as you notice no liquid for that 
There you are. Put this on the final one. Higher one. Higher temperature. Mm. It's good. And I'm put this now. So I'll, I'll tell you before. Put this out so you can see what I'm doing. This. I'm just let this simmer for maybe five minutes or three minutes, and um, I'm not gonna put any lead on this because I just let him simmer for a few minutes, and I'm gonna chop this. Not a barbecue. I'm just gonna assume this rice, guys. So this is sandwich and garlic with my rice, a little bit of oil. It's so good. And we got soaked rice here. See? My rice is soaked for a few minutes. You can soak this for 30 minutes or so. But for now, I'm hungry. And I'm hungry now. Soak it for 15 minutes. So I put this oil on. And notice the rice. They yeah, are whitish color. I'll put it here, guys. Because I think we no boil lang siya, just boil it straight away. This one, uh, I'll soak the rice from the water, cold water, normal temperature, to remove the fattening in the rice. So when I did that, so of course when the rice is kind of active, it's good. That's what I do anyway. I put the soap and garlic a little bit. Like that, you can put black pepper if you want, or simply omit it. Either of the European people, guy or Western people, they love the rice. They love the canning with a little bit of taste in it, nice tasting. But as we make it, um, very light taste, not very very super super tasty. But you put the something ingredients that is not really good. So yeah, I just leave it alone. And then rice look like that now. I should go get warm my water. Alright, this one here. It's ready. And I am going to put this one now, my mula bar. Okay. As you notice, I did it one at a time because I give the chance the other leaves to cook. If you put it buns together, all the leaves is just cooked up. It won't suck all the good flavor. That's what I did always. You know, often if I don't do video, I always put the pan on. See, kind of noisy, so I don't put the pan on. Don't worry about the canning guys or rice over there. Because I put this in the lower um, temperature, so it won't burn. Me. Okay, I just leave them be for a few minutes, and I see you. I'll go get my rice water. Of course, one cup of rice. Here is my takuri or electric mug. I put this to rice, two cups. Actually, one cup of rice, I put it two cups. Now the gulai or the mula bar leaves, it turned like that now guys. So you notice here. Now it's time to put our kakangata or coconut cream. This is 270 ml. Probably I'll see if I put in whole or not. Mm, that will be taste so good and looking good. See the, how it look like here. You can put all of this and then or you just put it in half. That's what I always do. Otherwise guys super malinam lam sya. Or so creamy. That's what it tastes like. Or you can put some half cup of water too. Warm water, of course. Here is the one half cup of water. 
with some of more ingredients that are really yummy. I'll put this all. And later on, before we eat, I remove this tanglad or lemon grass out from there. Good one. So you notice guys, I'll show you really really close up and bring it to you. There you go. That is our gulai or our vegetable soup. There you are guys. So then I'm gonna put like few minutes really high and turn it down and let it simmer because they're already ready to eat. Mm. Really nice. And of course, we have these special things with us. The Sinamak. 100% apple cider mother vinegar. The Sinamak like chili, fresh chili from our garden. Fresh ginger from our garden slice and the garlic. And of course, the black pepper corn. If you want a tiny bit of spiciness on them, you can put this some of this at least maybe two spoon if you don't have cinnamon that's fine guys no worries it's a really nice sauce naturally my husband like that one whenever that you if you include it's like giving flavor it adds flavor to your utan gulai or vegetable soup like this Simple, healthy, and easy to cook. Mm. Now I will lower the fire to the the cinnamon, the sauce that we made. It's up to get really nice flavor. Approved. So I will lower the fire. Very very low. And five minutes later, I turn it off, and it's ready to cook. While I wait for my rice. Yeah. See you soon guys. So it's up to you if the rice is still need more too big or water, you can put two in a half on it. It should be really fine. That's it. If you don't want to get boiling water, it's up to you. I do it all the time so it's quick to go. So I'll come back soon. Bye bye. Here is guys instead of sardines that I told you but I couldn't find sardinas in the shop this is what I did here salted tuna and I got this dried chili here fresh dried I mean fresh from our garden and then now it dried and here is the tuna here instead of sardinas there you go rice in the bottom soaked with nice gulai or broth so broth or sabaw or soup and then the gulai here a lot and tuna on the top voila here's our food there you go thank you guys for watching subscribe like and share you see how you say the video and um tell us the comment down below thank you so much for watching again it's angela's name here and i see you very very soon bye bye enjoy cheers